Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new Valley Strange episode. It's been a while yeah, since we put out an episode, and, and for the new year, we're trying to give you more content, so and uh, we want to make sure that this year specifically, we focus in on a lot of doom and gloom shit, right? Catastrophes. Yeah, we're all fucked. Um, yeah. The world's changing, Roland. I don't know if you notice this. No? No. I'm, I, no, I, no uh, mental or... Mental, like consciousness change you feel going on around uh, the world, so, uh, culturally, there's a lot of shit going on. I mean, I feel closer to the grave, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. We all feel closer to the grave. Hooray! So, on this episode today, we are going to be discussing predictions for 2023. Ah, yes. We didn't go over any predictions last year, but, I mean, a lot of shit happened, if you're not aware. Um, oh yeah, this was a pretty shitty year, right? We, this we, is a shitty year, but also kind of cool year because a lot yeah. of weird shit's been happening. You know, it's still going on to this day. Uh, um, yeah. I don't know what else. Like, I don't want to discuss any political things, so to speak. Uh, but when we get into predictions, we'll kind of figure out what what they may say about the destruction of the America, the world, the universe. Who knows? Are we supposed to be right? Shouldn't we even? We I'm waiting for the rapture. So then, You're so we can be left a, behind, <laughs> <laughs> and real chaos can be. Yeah, soon. there we go. That's all it's going to be. Well, uh, according to one of these as, predictions, uh, we may see that soon enough. So, uh, what was the, what was that prediction called? Was that uh, was that from the uh, um, the uh, blockbuster uh, 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 predicting uh, Hollywood video? Uh, uh, this is the end. Or, <laughs> Probably. Uh, <laughs> I'm just you know because I. I that's the closest thing that I've got to work with. Hopefully, I don't end up like uh, Jonah Hill. So <laughs> yeah, getting fucked by a demon. There you go. It can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, I don't want to be Jonah Hill, and I don't want to be uh, what the hell is the asshole's name? Oh uh, shit. Uh, bu- 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 Pretty boy, douche nuts. Um, Chinese Tatum. <laughs> No, you want to be Danny McBride's cool. gimp? I'd rather be Danny McBride's <laughs> gimp than the, than fucking what the hell is that that the, the asshole's name? Who's like he gets raptured? Oh, James Franco. James Franco. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. He was shit. on his way, but he got yeah, too proud. He got too. He was on his way, but yeah, he got too proud. He got, that's his own. That's his own fault. Yeah. No, and that's great. I just don't want to be that asshole. That's it. You know, because I don't want to. I'm obviously not. That, I would never make it that far. I want to be like fucking. Uh, is I'm gonna be one Craig, of those Craig zombies Robinson? who Craig, eats his Craig ass. Craig Robinson or something? Yes. <laughs> when he gets robbed, he's like, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, Hopefully. You know, if the rapture were to happen, and we, people have been waiting millennia, yeah. the same happened. Bitch and uh, it'd be a, quite the destructive. Oh, we'd be fucked. It'd be great. Scene. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, if. People were to get raptured up, and you're assuming you're in the right, you know, because a lot of the conservative, right wing televangelist people are assuming that. I don't. <laughs> I, 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 don't I don't honestly think that some of them don't really believe this, but if they oh, right, were to either get left behind or God, get that raptured would be so up, so funny. Like, we'd all be fucked because, like, <laughs> yeah, if those assholes are gonna make it, firstly, we'd have to think like, well, you have to be rich, you have to own a church. That's true. You have to lead a congregation. <laughs> Joel Wolstein's the first of. <laughs> yeah, he's the fucking first one to go. <laughs> yeah, they, they take him half up and then they just drop his ass. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah. With all the rest of them and they're yeah, fucked just like we are. That's of, what I want Joyce Myers, T.D. Jakes. But, 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 uh, but hey, uh, nope, you're fucked. Kenneth Co- Copeland, he's like, I got the spirit of God. Oh, man, the dude with the crazy eyes. Yeah. Fucking hell. I, saw, I, I honestly still love his... Uh, COVID uh, battle chant, you know? Oh man, I forgot about that. What is he? What is it? Uh, he says, uh, th- "This is." Let me, let me, let me, let me summon my Kenneth Copeland. Right? He was like, "COVID nineteen, I'll blow the wind of God <laughs> on you." Little crazy eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Blow on you, and I'll take away the COVID. <laughs> Instead, you uh, get hepatitis or some shit. Before we continue, again, my name is Ray. This is Roland. Yo. Uh, we're here bringing you the predictions of 2023 by three people specifically, not 
But this is all I could find. I was just really. thinking of that weird, like, not to get political again. But what was that weird girl who was trying to talk in tongues about Trump? She, because she was also a part oh, of that. His, um, the I spiritual advisor. Yeah, the angel. The angels yeah. will come down. And she's like angels from Africa. There we go. Are being uh, they're being summoned. <laughs> they're being summoned like that. They're being dispatched or some shit. Yeah, like that. angels from Africa being dispatched. <laughs> oh man, she's having a she's having a seizure. Somebody save her. Nope. Angels are coming. Angels are the coming. Power of Jesus. Jesus. She keeps repeating something. Yeah. And and they got and turned into a blah, wonderful blah 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 blah, blah, blah. hip hop clip yeah. or some shit. Well, no, mm. some guy played metal over it. It was really good. Oh, I haven't heard that one. Okay. Yeah. It's a classic at this point. It's a classic. Oh, right? absolutely. I think I want to say they're still grifting. Probably. I know there was some other lady that was talking about. And I know she's like repeating like shit. angels are coming, angels are coming. Yeah, angels are being dispatched from from Africa, from South America. Why are all these like <laughs> I don't <laughs> know particular where countries? The fuck? I'm gonna tell you right now, they weren't dispatched. Two, um, they probably didn't care. Nope. Three, you're an idiot. <laughs> all of that. <laughs> Why Africa? What I mean, because that's where white Jesus came from. Excuse me, that's yeah. what I forgot. That was my mistake. The the black angels are gonna come save white Jesus. Because that's their their duty, you know. Mm. The white Jesus is Trump. So there you go, Savior, the Savior. Because I mean, we all, you know, y'all you just yeah. to, all you need to do is hold up a Bible and you're good. As but long as it's well, no. Every so often, every so often, I I hold up a Bible and take a picture. So I'm just kind of like cover yeah. my bases. You, know? you make sure you have that you're holding it upright or whatever. Well, upside case. down, obviously. You know? Oh, that's right, symbolism. Yeah, you got to really make sure you're really upside down. getting it right. And and but the thing is, you got to like. Because he, because, because upside down is better. Like I don't know. I don't, I, I, don't know I don't know which upside apostle it was. Is important. Was it Peter, Paul, or Mary? All of them. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> that got crucified <laughs> upside fuck? down because they didn't feel worthy to be crucified like their savior, like the Christ. You know. I thought that was Judas. No, Judas hung himself. Oh, okay, that's right. Never mind. And then he became Dracula. That's <laughs> right. Damn, man. I really hope. Fuck, how is that going to tie into rent the Renfield? Do you think... I don't right, think I'm getting, they're going to... We're, we're getting off track. <sighs> Damn already. it. Oh. Uh, we're going to talk about these predictions from three people that I'm familiar with. Um, I don't know if anyone else made predictions, but you know what? They're not as authentic as these people. No, right? I mean, Nostradamus. Is... Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, and forgive me for fucking this, Baba Vanga. Yeah. Uh, her real name, uh, we'll give you a little backstory on some of these people. That way you're not confused. And you think, I, I'm just pulling some like random ass names out of my ass. I mean, I would. You would. I would. But I want to be authentic here. Sure. And get authentic seers into the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We we thrive on authenticity, honesty, <laughs> and Valley Strange. <laughs> and we want to make sure we're bringing you quality predictions here. All right. Not some asshole on the street and like rubbing a fucking crystal ball. I mean, All right, reading tarot cards. Ugh. That's nonsense. Right. No. Obviously. These are real people who... You, gonna, you still letting the stars and the planets tell you what to do with your life? Loser. <laughs> no, you need Nostradamus, man. That guy, he predicted fucking... Uh, uh, Nero, is it Nero? Yes. And uh, Adolf Hitler? Also, yes. There's still a third Antichrist coming along. We thought it was Obama mm, for a while there, but it's not. No. Oh. It wasn't. We were wrong. I know. Such a bummer, right? We'll find out. Maybe the Antichrist is coming Just, this year. I, why, why, why isn't he here already? Maybe he is. <laughs> I was going to say, like, damn it. We deserve our... everybody. Why does everyone else get their own Antichrist? Where's our Antichrist for our generation? This is bullshit. We need an American Antichrist, right? Us? A real fucking American. <laughs> <laughs> A real fucking American Antichrist, right? That's what we need. Yeah. Red-blooded yeah. and shit. Yeah, do it. We need the Antichrist that is in it. like, And he has to be American, right? Because yeah, that's the whole we, idea. We can't tolerate any other country no, fuck taking down the world. We need to do it. No, yeah, exactly. We need to be this should to be it. our responsibility to fuck the world. Nobody else. Right. Anyways. So. You're going to be fucking humping into submission. Mm, right? Grab by the humps, haunches. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who don't know who Nostradamus is, uh, we'll give you a little backstory. Not too much. Uh, just enough to little wet your, wet your palate, you know. Michel de Nostradamus. Usually Latinized as Nostradamus. Nostradamus. Is Latin, Latinized a word? Not really, but they were. He's a it, French so. astrologer. Right. Apothecary, physician, reputed seer, who's best known for his book, Le Profil. I don't speak French. You can still buy that. That's still available. Yeah. Right. And you can read, read the quatrains yourself oh, and nice. determine what do you see? What is it telling you? Poetry. 
942. Uh, his father's family had originally been Jewish, Ooh. Mm. but they converted to Catholic Christianity. Can they do that? A generation before Nostradamus was born. Oh. So he was born into Catholicism. Catholicism. Uh, he studied at the University of, Poor son of a bitch. Avig- Avignon. Avignon. I don't know where this university Whatever. is. I know UTPA. Yeah, there's a thing. <laughs> but was forced to leave after just over a year when the university closed due to an outbreak of <laughs> the plague. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, can you continue on? He worked as an apothecary for several years before entering the University of Montpellier. Montpellier? Yeah. yeah. Hoping to earn a doctorate, but was almost immediately expelled after his work as an apothecary. Uh, a manual trade forbidden by university status? Statutes, excuse me, was discovered. Um, he first yeah. married in 1531, but his wife and two children died in 1534 during another plague outbreak. That's mm. enough about that nonsense, right? Yeah, we Let's don't get to the, 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 real, the real shit. Yeah. Come the on. meats. Yes. Uh, the origins of the prophecies. Here we go. Nostradamus claimed to base his published predictions on a judicial astrology, the astrological judgment or assessment of the quality and thus potential of events such as births, weddings, coronations, etc. But was heavily criticized by professional ast- professional <laughs> astrologers of the day, such as who cares uh, for incompetence and is for assuming that comparative horos- horosco- oh, man. horoscopy 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 yeah. horoscopy yeah sure horoscope the study of 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 horos- uh, hor- oh my God. Horos- <laughs> colons <laughs> fucking hell the comparison the of- colon of the stars there you yeah. go perfect. Oh, man. The comparison of future planetary configurations with those accompanying known past events. You know, that reminds me of uh, the Satanists who are, like, very uh, pretentious. Like, you're not (laughs) as Satan. You're not not a real Satanist. You're not a real Satanist, you know? You're, like, 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 what was that? Uh... Uh, you're like little less Satan, <laughs> or uh, you, you're not like uh, you're uh, new amateur age. Satan, new age, Satan. you're new age Satan, fakers, right? You're not sacrificing you're, children, you're like, you're you're like to. instead of new metal, it's new Satan, new, yeah, yeah, and new, yeah, yeah, Satan. yeah, exactly. That's that, Satanism. There we go. Um, mm. you go, where you were, you, you, you down tune, yeah, <laughs> guitar. <laughs> No, These like, motherfuckers to, cannot sweep across the board. Okay, yeah. that's just embarrassing. You down tune your guitar to like a, a D flat, like uh, like ten octaves down, right? Your, your strings just sound like. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing, but you know, kids like it. Yeah, the kids like it. You know, research suggests much of the his prophetic work paraphrases collections of ancient end of the world prophecies, mainly Bible based. <gasps> what? No. Supplemented with references to historical events and anthologies of omen reports. And then projects, then projects those into the future, in part with the aid of comparative horoscopy. There's that fucking word again. Hence, the main predictions involving ancient figures such as Sulla, Gaius, Marius, Nero, and others, as well as his descriptions of battles in the clouds and frogs falling from the sky. Astrology itself is mentioned only twice in his preface, and 41 times in the centuries themselves, but more frequently in his dedicatory letter to King Henry II. In the last quadrant of the 6th century, he specifically attacks astrologers. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, mm. we just wanted to give you a little backstory about like, uh, just, like the, the level of uh, astrological prowess, I guess, yeah, that this person has. Yeah, um, the extent. Also, he's almost practically, he's, he's like, like, kind of like a heretic, you know? Oh, absolutely. I hate him. Um, Real astrologers <laughs> consider him like a fucking fraud. Yeah, you know. Uh, I mean, what did Crowley say about him? You know, what did uh, what did um, I don't know about any of these people. What, what did Leve say, say about him? I don't know. I don't right? know. I, I don't know if any of them were like uh, astrologers. Well, no, like true particular like, artists. Of the well, they were true artists, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't were know. They believers. They were, I don't know if they were believers in Nostradamus' predictions. But I mean, as we know, as to this point, uh, most of his predictions have been "quote unquote" solved yeah. after the fact. Yeah, right. Because apparently he predicted nine eleven. Yeah, that's right. According to some of the quatrains, yep, that was in there. But I forgot about. We that. obviously we missed didn't it. Damn. figure it out, in or time. did we? And nobody believed George us. Bush let it happen. Yeah, no, well, that's right. Him and Dick Cheney, they were all in on it. There weren't really planes, but maybe they were fucking missiles. Yep. Who knew? Who knew or who knows what went into the fucking Pentagon? You motherfuckers. I'm pretty sure 
there was a, I just watched a, a, like this, this thing on Comedy Central that talked about those exact problems, but it was, it was like, it was called cat history or something. And they, cat history? Yeah. It's like drunk history, but with cats Jesus and like, Christ. it's, it's like cued with like, <laughs> like fifties and sixties, uh, uh, do, uh, like rock music or something. I, I need to send it to you later. It's fucking hilarious. And it goes through all of that to you. But anyways... You let's, know what? Maybe it was Nostradamus candidate. Yeah, well, let's move on to the predictions All of right. 2023, what do we got? according to Nostradamus. Um, and uh, the information that we did, we just discussed about Nostradamus, um, we got from Wikipedia. So only the best sources. Always. Uh, this article that we're getting some of these predictions from uh, is from uh, Santa, Barbara Santa Barbara News Press. Yeah. Uh, That's only, California, no? Yeah. Only the best news presses ever. Mm. And uh, again, so we're going to move on to these predictions Fasten here. your seatbelts. And we're not going to read the article necessarily. We're just going to talk about the predictions they spiders discuss here. Spiders and locusts? Uh, spiders and locusts. Uh, so you can see oh. there's going to be a major earthquake that Nostradamus has forecasted uh, for the coming year. A 9.8 earthquake in the ocean, specifically the Mariana Trench. Oh, man, we're fucked. Uh, Roland, are you familiar with the Mariana Trench? Yeah. Right? Can um, you tell the people what that I is? Can, I can try. It's just this area uh, it, between the... Uh, well, it's... Damn it. <laughs> it's at the damn bottom of the sea. It's a trench and it's super fucking deep. Um, it's, you know, between the, the, it's in the Pacific between, like it says here, Guam and the Philippines. It's like the lowest point in the ocean. Right? Yes. Yeah. That is as far down as they can, like, uh, I don't know how many miles. Um, you have don't, they, go, you don't go down there because you're fucked. Like, I mean, the pressure alone has, is, have, they've only measured the bottom, like, or they just haven't, they're just kind of guesstimating. Them. Uh, it's a bit of both because it's actually kind of, it's not <laughs> sending something down that far is like James Cameron levels of of money, you know, and the government yeah. doesn't have that. And not James really. Cameron has done that though, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, Christ. that's crazy. I mean, how do you bitch. think? Uh, where do you think all that Avatar money went? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he did with you know, it. No, that's why he made uh, the way of water because oh. he was like, I'm, I'm in yeah, the I need more money, guys. Look at all these, Can't like, go back. These crazy like neon fishes. Uh, right. and shit. Like he like, couldn't. He tried with Terminator, uh, the last one. What was that? Dark Fate. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, shit, I fucked it up. All right, Ty. I guess we got to crack out the Avatar because you know that didn't work. Uh, but uh, according to this. After the earthquake, uh, giant spiders and locusts will emerge. Now, honestly, that's pretty badass. Sure. Uh, that's like Lovecraft level shit. You know, like how big are these locusts and spiders going to I be? I mean, locusts are already pretty goddamn now, big. Now, are they in the ocean or are they in the earth? I mean, water spiders would be fucking nuts. I don't know, though. Because, uh, I mean, if they were in the earth, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, those are lava spiders, basically. Because the Mariana Trench does follow... Uh, a lot of volcanic activity. There yeah. are underwater volcanoes down through all that whole thing. And that's actually another reason why earthquakes are, follow what, down there. What the fuck are lava spiders? I don't know. But see, that's the thing. If like they came from earth and down there, that's what I would expect because how the fuck are they going to survive? Those are the most dangerous spiders yeah, ever. Yeah, we'd be fucked so hard. Uh, they, they, and they, giant they, spiders? They're, they're giant and they're fucking like Oof. grabbing people. They're like melt, melting people and shit. Damn, that'd be fucking crazy. We'll Stay in your houses, people. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about the locusts, you know, because those are just basically big bastard grasshoppers that eat everything. Well, I mean, according to That's biblical Lost shit, World uh, Dominion, uh, they can control locusts, you know, so... Oh, Christ. we just got to get Laura Dern, Sam Neill, and Jeff Goldblum to come save the day. Oh man! We'll be all right. I mean, they couldn't save that movie, but they couldn't. No, they might be able to help us. <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, uh, it, did we move too fast around here? Mm. It says, oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, this is a. I think this is a quatrain regarding the Antichrist. So, like, here we let's answer this question here. Mm. Um. Whoa. Probably uh, the, it's getting a bit... To answer the... Sh we, they're going to attempt to decipher the prophecies of Nostradamus in the context of global events. Because that's the only way you can do it, right? I mean, right. how yeah. else are you going to do it? No. Nope. So because of the name of the game for this coming year, there's a lot of disaster and calamity. We're reading off the article here. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate that they do this. They call them Nostis. Nostradamus interpreted to have predicted a nuclear war for early 2023 between the United States and Russia that will last 27 years following... Seven, seven months, months of great war, people dead through evil. evil. Now, I mean, the way things look, that, that could be a thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, uh, it shouldn't, but yeah, we could all be. I mean, with this whole Russia, Ukraine thing, yeah. who knows? Like if 
somebody joins the yeah. Putin uh, is gonna what just is that? You, shit what the is bed it? Ukraine again the, if they join the the UN the UN yeah doesn't he gonna like flip his nuts maybe right? and then he's gonna be like uh, I don't, press the button press the button fuck I, you all. well yeah pretty much that's kind of what I was hoping not to expect but <laughs> well here here's the quad train that they're getting it from right? I'm, I'm you, thinking you I'm your... thinking he's gonna fall on the button like how he fell down the stairs supposedly <laughs> and shit himself and it's gonna be that kind of moment yeah. or whatever he's gonna be like, rah, 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 and, and then hit the button well here's the like, quad train regarding that so you, I'll yeah, read we're, it we're gonna you go decide. out with a dirty diaper these are words from Nostradamus here we go the Antichrist very soon annihilates the three I don't know what the three are 27 years the war will last the unbelievers are dead Captive, exiled, mm. with blood, human bodies, water, and red hail covering the earth. Mm. Um, that seems very nuclear-ish, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to read into that. Yeah, a Unless bit. Maybe, And you know how people, whenever the moon turns red, they call it the blood moon, and they consider those like actual signs of... It's an omen. Uh, Omens and prof of prophecies the, of the end times. Uh, of the end times coming, you know. And that's just normal. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'd take a picture and we're like, hey, cool, it's cute. Yeah, and I, and I know like uh, some uh, televangelists Instagram. have written books uh, oh, man. claiming how the blood moons are like a sign of the end times. But I mean, still waiting. Part. Yeah, <laughs> still waiting. Come on, why you gotta why you gotta tease? You know? Yeah. Just just do it. But I'm curious as what what does this mean? The Antichrist very soon annihilates the three. What is the three? I mean, the three major <sighs> countries, countries maybe, in the world. It'd be like you know? America, the UN, and I mean not the UN, but according like to this China. Art, well, according to this article, they're kind of Europe. naming like Putin to be yeah, the Antichrist. Yeah, I mean, I don't see that. Honestly, mm, I don't see no, that at all. I mean, like he's too. Uh, he's too. Ah, fuck! I don't want to go into this shit. This sucks. Let's just keep going. Uh, <laughs> It's lame. Um, uh, but let's uh, dial it back a bit and read the quatrain regarding the spiders and the locusts. Mm. Um, here, Nostradamus in this quatrain says, A monkey of fortune with twisted tongue will come to the sanctuary of the gods. He will open the door to heretics and raise up the church militant. Who's the monkey? Who is the monkey? Monkey of fortune. Monkey of fortune. That could mean... Is of, Donald Trump the monkey? Yeah, that's where I was like, <laughs> fuck, no. Uh, it doesn't say orange monkey. It doesn't who's say the guy, Who's monkey. the guy that comes out in Ancient Aliens with the big hair? Oh, uh, George Stopanopoulos or whatever. That guy. Boomhead. Maybe he's uh, going to open the Whatever's sanctuary of the gods. He's the monkey of fortune. You're just, you just want, I want some ancient aliens, something to happen. That would be so great. <laughs> well, I mean, look, it says we'll come if to the I, sanctuary imagine, of the gods. Imagine if he was proved right. And he's hilarious. like the whole time, why don't you guys watch all the seasons? You know, Man, you the seasons had, I had all the answers. Know? You know, we checked the, the, what the fuck was it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what what bothers me about this quatrain uh, ancient, here? Ancient alien astronauts. What bothers me about scientists. this quatrain here is that it says he will open the door to heretics and raise up the church militant. Church militant sounds scary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There are church militant people already. Those already. Yeah. yeah that's the thing. Does, that's a people thing already. Are fucking so. nuts. Um, I mean, are they going to do some like David Koresh kind of shit on us or whatever? Where, David Koresh wasn't it? just got him, him and all his people killed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I mean. So it's going to backfire? I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, you know? You know, I think I think there's a, a quote-unquote quatrain. I was just thinking of, of like in, uh, in David sense Koresh in that little scene there. Like in they kind of read into that as well. Oh, yeah? Which I would like to find maybe. I don't know. I was um, I was thinking in the sense of like the cultiness. But, uh, but yeah, ideally that's how yeah. it would end for them. And not us, but maybe shit. Maybe, maybe not. Damn. Uh, another uh, prediction is that there's going to be a meteor strike. Where do you, where have we seen that? We've seen it a bunch of times. We, the the meteorite the size of the whale will slam into our fragile planet Ooh. and carry with it an alien species of some sort. Neil deGrasse Tyson won't shut the hell up about this shit. He wants to be right. That would be great, though, yeah. too, if we get hit by that. And he's just like, I told you. I told you guys. You dumb ass what, what you all didn't see, and he's gonna do his little hand yeah. gestures and shit. <laughs> As he gets hit by another, <laughs> As he's discussing it, yeah. fucking meter comes and kills him. Oh, karma! I mean, uh, irony. Your na thy name is 
meteors. Of course, there's the, like, I mean, if there's nuclear blasts and World War Three happening, obviously, because that would set it off, right? I would imagine. Yeah, maybe. Assuming people are still alive. Yeah, no. Um, well, well. Assuming people are still alive. We it can hit? only hope we don't survive because <laughs> it would be fucking worse. No, man, I'm going to be podcasting through the fucking uh, trials and from tribulations. Your, from your bunker? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be podcasting the trials and tribulations oh, uh, the yeah. seven years after this. Uh, the Antichrist comes, the rapture happens, there's nuclear war. And everybody's going to be eating Spam and Twinkies. I remember, <laughs> I remember just be there, like, I'm turning to Alex Jones and shit. Like, <laughs> I told, oh, no, for that fucking <laughs> voice. I was just nope. doing the voice. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking, like, oh, his voice is so dumb. So that according to Nostradamus, uh, he also predicted, allegedly, mm. um, that possibly that Putin will be assassinated Oh, um, by his closest associates. That's why he's been like getting rid of them all. His dwindling popularity with his own country, the fact that most hits are an inside job, from Jesus of Nazareth, Judas, to Caesar's et tu brut, which that's not a thing, that et tu brut, that's, that's Shakespeare, isn't it? Or I don't that know. That doesn't man. actually, that's not... Well, maybe we're just, we're like dealing with like fantastical things here, right? We're not really de dealing in uh, nonfiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. This is all you real got, world. Got, I mean, we're not dealing with fiction. We're I need people fiction. to be real, like be aware, keep their eye out. Keep their eye on the Davis news. also foresaw U.S. Oh, Christ. Joe Biden will suffer from a mystery disease if he was COVID-20. <laughs> oh, man. Myth mythomania. It's be 22, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 23. Probably. Oh, yeah. That's right. 23. If he was referring to what mythomania or pseudologia fantastical, also known as habitual lying, the French prophet clearly got the year wrong because, as we all know, Joe's pathological condition began decades ago. <laughs> This site's getting a little... Oh, well, yeah, it's an article. Like A little too... Let's just ignore that I mean, they're, they, uh, according to this article, they have uh, suggested cannibalism. the possibility of cannibalism. Ooh. You know, like, so high will the bushel of wheat, wheat rise that man will be eating his fellow man. Okay. Well, that's can, cannibalism, yeah, that's you know. Like, what are you going to do when you don't have food? Starve. Start eating, you either starve or you eat the dead. You're looking kind of hefty there. Boy, I'll survive for a while. Maybe I don't know. They might come for you. You're, you're well, they might come for me, right but here. what are they going to get? They're not going to get lean meat. This ain't lean. No, that's what I mean. Like they're gonna. You mean this they're going to kill enough, me? There's this enough for the few. They're, they're gonna they're gonna kill me out of spite, just to like. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you're not going to survive longer than we are. No, fuck that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh man, you need some of that delicious, a uh, dark meat. You go. We need uh, lard for tortillas. <laughs> yeah, um, your Monteca doesn't grow on trees. Those tamales won't make themselves. We need some, need some grease. Need oh, some. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Ray. I mean, what? What are they gonna come for me? It's like, what are they gonna chew on no, my you'll bones? Be, you'll be dead before. Yeah, anyway, probably. I'll, I, you'll, you'll die in the blast for sure. Oh, I hope so. I mean, I, again, I don't want to fucking have to deal with the other bullshit no, after the fact because yeah. it's gonna be somebody else's problem. Hopefully. So uh, we're gonna go to another article. That's kind of like what they hinted at at the previous article. But this one is from the New York Post. Ooh. And uh, the passage uh, Nostradamus predicts, like the sun, the head shall sear the shining sea. The black sea's living fish shall all but boil. Yeah. Well, kind of already is, you on know, our like, way. Is it wrong? It, like, it's uh, not. It's weird. I mean, it, the water boil. boiling, man, that's going to... Couldn't you still eat the fish? Mm. Is it boiling? No, probably not. Is it because of the seat the, 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 the uh, salt? The seat? Yeah, well, like, <laughs> I mean, per, because it's a dead fish, been, been it's, it's going to be a, with boiled. Oh, well, okay, that's a good point, but still, that water's dirty, Ray. All right, because all those but fish. But it's boiling. Uh, but, uh, okay, but they're still going to crap themselves once they die, and all that poop is going to be boiled. I wouldn't do it. Boiled but. away. And fresh, is that fresh fish for all. <laughs> fresh, dead. I mean, like maybe for the first day, and then it's just like it's gonna stink. Unless the sea already stinks, man. Yeah, it's already dirtiest. This it's other, like we shit in there. So this much. other article from the New York Post suggests that the Putin is going to bring about that. There's going to be a destruction on uh, the Buck on Buckingham Palace. Mm. Uh, it says uh, Nostradamus predicted in 2023. We will see celestial fire on the royal edifice. Didn't what does that mean? I don't I, like like literally the royals. I mean, hope 
Hopefully. Are they going to, is there going to be a meteorite that blasts They're through all fucking like old uh, as dirt anyways uh, already? Was it, is it King, what's his name? King George? Yeah, one King of George, those. I don't know what his fucking name is. Philip Charles. Philip Charles. King Charles. Asshole. Right. And all the other people, whatever. Yeah, and then before you know it, uh, Prince Henry is gonna become king because they're all gonna be dead, mm-hmm. and then Meghan Markle is gonna be fucking right. They're gonna be the new queen. royalty. Then, boom, yeah, sure. Go. Hey, they'll take over and kill everyone. <laughs> <sighs> Hope so. Something to look forward to. Yeah. Sure. Well, this this one is suggesting that uh, the other article suggested there's gonna be meteors, but it didn't specify where, a, like a particular How? target. And yeah. here it is saying that there's a target. Mm. Uh, considering just because it says royal edifice means Buckingham Palace, does it really have to be? There's a lot of kings and fucking queens out there too. Like, what the fuck? Is, yeah. But are they like the main royals of the world? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, like, so England is the like the the colonizing bastards, you know, royalty of the That's whole true. world. Like That's they true. did fuck everyone That's true. over. That's very true. And continue to do so. But hey. What? Oh, hey, they're, they're cool, right? They're, right. Oh, they're charitable Markle. She's They're charitable now. They they do that the whole uh, thing. Yeah, charity. And this article also suggests World War III. Yeah. Um, <sighs> also uh, quotes the same quote train, uh, seven months, great, great war, war, people dead through evil. That's very vague, yeah. right? It just gives you the, a, a number of how many what, months. But they really want to throw that Ukraine thing out there. yeah. Evil Nostradamus blames hate mongering, death dealing Libra. I mean, it's going to do that. Vladimir Putin. It's going to do that because of global events currently, you know? Like, this is what we're going into 2020. Oh, yeah. 2023 with. He lost his goddamn mind. I mean, we had fucking uh, Zelensky out there on Capitol Hill uh, giving a a speech and shit. A comedian. He's he's a comedian? Yeah, dude. Like, he was an, uh, before he was president, he was like an actor comedian. Yeah. Uh Aha! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, and I mean, he seemed, he seems Are they like, just fall, uh, like, I mean, did just, they take, have there been any actor comedians prior to him being president? Uh, before him, it was like a puppet, I think, of the Russia or some the, such. It was like one of those. And they. May, maybe they took a cue of? from like uh, Ronald Reagan, you know, like an actor. Yeah. Ronald maybe. Reagan. I don't know. The actor? God. And who's it. vice president? Jerry Lewis? Back to the Future right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, well. I mean, we have Donald Trump who is a TV personality and douchebag all around. Yeah. He's not an actor. Well, he's not any well, of those Technically, things. he's an actor, though. Like, he's been in movies. Didn't they, like, cut him out of Home Alone, too, or whatever? In the Why? Why? Because he just goes, he points to a fucking... Yeah. It's he like, tells Kevin to go fuck himself? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Or it was like, I think, because it was in Trump, it was in one of the one of his towers. Well, it's his, it's yeah. his building. Yeah, what are you going to do? He's in there. Like That's why... So we got to stop going back and trying to clean up our mess, right? Like, that's just what it is. Just leave it just, alone. Just let them get fucked and hopefully we survive. Mm. But wait, it gets worse. What? The Antichrist cometh. According, Antichrist is coming to wage war and post, possibly post selfies. I can, wow. I can see the Antichrist post selfies. This was selfies written by a real winner. They're going to have like 10 million followers. Gosh. Guaranteed. Writes in around Antichrist very soon annihilates the three 27 years. His war will last. Again. The same things we said. Unbelievers are dead. Captive exiled with blood, human bodies, water, and red hail covering the earth. And a surprise to no one, the Antichrist is a dude with bloodlust. Which means he could be lurking under the lies and necktie of any number of global politicians. So, so far, so far. Somebody's, somebody's, somebody's uh, guys gonna fuck. Kind of, these two articles have made a few predictions that are the same. Mm-hmm. Now we have the Antichrist coming, mm-hmm. possible oh, World War Three, nuclear war, and meteors. The so we all know it's true now. That's it. Two people said it. With mention of war and unbelievers being dead, captive, or exiled, there's strong indication that the Antichrist could be Putin. Though Elon Musk's Halloween costume and the Twitter response to it suggest that Madman is also in the running. Elon Musk. He could be uh, fucking Elmo. <laughs> yeah, he could be because he's that dumb. Apparently, I mean, uh, obviously. Wait, no, no. Were we done? Were we done? Yeah, that's that's pretty much. Ah, uh, the so, uh, wait. What's that say? Sounds like anything. The album. No. Yeah, could be. I mean, well, I mean, rich as, as far are, as we can tell, Nostradamus are fucking morons. And with the help of the New York Post and the Santa Barbara Press, fucking morons. Uh, there could possibly be a meteor 
and one of them, the meteors possibly strikes Buckingham Palace. Sure. Uh, the Antichrist could come. Mm-hmm. It could be Putin. It mm-hmm. could not be. It could maybe be Elon Musk. It could, Musk be it could maybe, not be. Maybe it the, could be. The world will end with a Tesla. <laughs> Jesus off into space Christ! Again. Yeah, you know, or you know what? That fucking car that they launched out out in space—that's going to be the that? meteor. <laughs> it's going to come in, and that's going to hit that's fucking Palace. That's, that's, that's going to be that fucking thing. They're going to blame him, and he's going to be like, uh, he's going he's to do his like Agent Four Twenty, Agent Sixty Nine has struck uh, or some shit. And now he's going to say, "I'm merged, Birch." Yeah, <laughs> damn. Dave Chappelle was right. That's it all along. Um, I mean, he's an ass. The other one, the other one suggested locusts right. and stuff, but this one didn't say anything about that. So, like, that's kind of up in the air. Uh, I'm, I, I'm putting my money now on that, on that fucking car just slamming into the. That's possible, right? Yeah, that would be hilarious. I mean, what, what if he is like actually controlling it, and then when it comes down, he's actually aiming for Buckingham Palace. <laughs> so he could be the Antichrist, actually. Oh you know? gosh, he he's the most evil man in the world. I mean, like, not intentionally evil. His evil is, like, stupid kind of evil. I don't know. Well, like... There's a lot of stupid evil people yeah, out there. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Uh, I was thinking of... Oh, damn. I don't want to give him that much, like, credit. That's mostly what it is because he's dumb. Well, maybe he's, like, laughing hysterically or maniacally oh. in his room with, like, these, like, Atari controllers and just, like, guiding the, the car back. <laughs> the car. He made a U-turn <laughs> and the car is guiding him back to the... Bring it around. Earth. And he's waiting for the particular... Yeah. Turn of the earth, mm. the orbit, Freaking for it to like, like get in just like in the gear. aim directly into Buckingham Palace. Yeah. yeah. But he's, do you he's, think he's, the, he's, the, he's the atmosphere do. would burn up the car before it hits? Yeah, it would. But enough to but, cause damage? Oh. Like on the earth? Yeah, no. Um, it would be cool. Maybe it would just disintegrate. No, it, would it would just totally disintegrate. It would right? burn that shit. I mean, considering nothing. the quality of the Tesla products. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was. Was it a Tesla car you sent up there? I didn't think it yeah, was. it was a Tesla car. Why would he send some regular ass Because he's in... I don't know, because, uh, again, I don't want to give him any credit. He's dumb. And those cars are shit, but... Um, <laughs> it just hits the atmosphere and just goes... <sighs> fucking just... Dust. Yeah. Dust. <laughs> and then like, fire. And then that's where the, the, the raining blood comes from. Yeah. Like, no, there's going to there's gonna be a piece that's, like, still uh, ablaze. It's going to be, like... It's going to be the tiny logo, as a fucking, the, like, the T. Uh, like a thumbtack, and it's going to hit fucking uh, King Charles in the eye. <laughs> It's going ludicrous. It's a ludicrous mode or speed or yeah. whatever that bullshit was. Uh, oh God, he's so lame with those fucking references. Never mind. All right, let's go. So we have another article here predicting again great war. Yeah. All right, here we go. Rise of Ad- Oh man, Adolf. This one entitles this uh, little piece uh, the end of the Mars dream. They also. Uh, He's they're uh, they're going to bring up Elon Musk in this one, uh, which is... Finally setting foot on Mars. 2029 is the year which astronauts would make the second giant leap. But might Nostradamus be pouring cold water on such bold aspirations with his cryptic line? We and, are... I think we're grasping at straws, or they are, in oh, this case, from yeah. sky history. The light of Mars will go out. Yeah, and firstly, it is on... It is sky history, this is a History Channel uh, yeah. website... So it makes perfect sense that the first thing they're going to talk about is Hitler, because anybody that's yeah. watched History Channel knows they're they're all about Hitler. It's all about it's all about, and then how how many how many programs have they gotten just out of Adolf Hitler alone? Fuck if I know, dude. They're that's, pretty like a cult and the Hitler. It's been and, like a running joke for as long as any of us I think you remember, because it's always like Hitler and like was it one of the Civil War? Uh, Mike was it Hitler Michael and Burn? aliens, my man. Michael Burns what was. It's the name of that dude that does all those like long ass documentaries. They're like, fuck, uh, like eight or nine hours. And I can't remember the guy's name, but that's another one. It doesn't matter. And yeah, Hitler. Uh, we also have a, a new prediction here uh, economic disaster. <laughs> Um, so here, uh, we mentioned in the More? other one the culture that they were uh, quoting. Yeah. Uh, but they. Uh, are attributing this one to like the fact that uh, there's yep. an economic disaster and yep, yep. Ukraine men are gonna eat their fellow men. Sure, uh, cannibalism probably. Uh, they they reference uh, Ukraine here again. Yeah, since they're they're referencing it because uh, not not Ukraine necessarily, but the economic disaster because of current 
inflation related to it yeah uh fuel costs which mm-hmm. are kind of fluctuating right now they went oh, down yeah. pretty low now they're now kind they're, of like climbing they back up, again. up like 30 cents uh, i mean they're they've been talking about uh, another we were in a, a recession or whatever supposedly and i think it's probably still friggin' going regardless of what those folks think and um you know that's that's why we're here. Like, hey, we're gonna be able to afford shit ever. Where's the, what's, the, what's the living wage? Fucking seven bucks. What's yeah, all of it. Uh, I mean, you can buy a house at seven twenty five. Yeah, when you were uh, <laughs> like in the seventies and shit. Fuck um, no, now we're referencing uh, climate crisis. Uh, global temperatures continue to rise, which is true. Yeah. They are rising. It's yeah. gotten hotter. Yeah. And anytime, I, I always find it funny that like whenever it gets like really cold, they're like global warming. Yeah. It's cold it's, as shit it out there. Mean it. Like, but that's cool. that's uh, weather. That's the fluctuation. Like, weather, it's extreme cold, idiots. extreme We're hot talking, temperatures, extreme heat. It's, it's people that are just either being disingenuous, hacks, or morons. Pick one. You know, like either way, they're not. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about in that sense because they're trying to make the distinction between weather and climate. Like, and no, I'm pretty sure if anyone listens to this and they weather. disagree with us completely Shit about what words. we're saying, I'm we're not, I'm not smart about this. I don't know anything going on. I just kind of think what scientists say, you know, like yeah, I have to believe them because I don't know. I'm stupid. Yeah, I mean, like every and it's not even it's like one or two. All of them fucking say that. So yeah, probably good. And to I mean, it's not it, to, if they were to, people were to call us idiots for well, whatever we're saying. It's not the first time. No. So also, fuck you. and it won't be the last. You should. <laughs> all of you that think that. Because um, we also reference civil unrest. What? Uh, no surprise there. Still. So is this one of the quatrains here? It says, the trumpet shakes with great discord. No surprise. Mm-hmm. A great broken lifting the face to heaven. An agreement broken. Oh, sorry. Agreement, agreement broken. Agreement. What did I say? A great? A great. Oh, yeah. An agreement broken lifting the face to heaven. The bloody mouth will swim with blood. Ooh, that's, that's juicy. Mm-hmm. The face anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. I don't know what that's the fuck that means. Not, that sounds sexual. I don't know. A trumpet shakes with great, great, great discord. A trump. trump. It is foretold. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Could be. Do you, you think people would seriously say, just because it says the trumpet, <laughs> trump, trump, maybe, trump? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, people are stupid. That's so. very cute. What did you say? Like, yeah. That's like, exactly why. Buster so Drummond is saying it. In black and white, right here. Boom. Trump, Trump shakes uh, with great discord. They he's shaking up the swamp, you know, like getting yeah, all the, the swampers one he out. built, and he got tired of because it stayed there. And agreement know. broken. That is referencing the stolen the election. Twenty twenty election. Yeah, there you go. And lifting, we have those those believers lifting the face to heaven. Mm-hmm. Why God? Why? Why have you forsaken us? Why? You Trump know? versus Jesus. Oh, what were they praying for him to? I don't know. Fuck. The bloody mouth. The bloody mouth will swim with blood. blood. I mean, that's very metal. Yeah, but uh, that can mean anything. Uh, I don't think. uh, I don't know if Trump likes metal though. Like, nah, he seems more like uh, the face anointed with milk and honey. What color would you get if you mixed milk and honey together? Possibly an orange color. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Lies on the ground. Maybe Trump will get struck down, but then he will rise on the third day. (laughs) Oh, I. Am I'm I giving, waiting, am I giving him too much credit? Wait, wait. No, no. I think you. You. you I. I want to see this. I would love to see it. Uh, that'd be fucking hilarious. Oh yeah. If Donald Trump were to get struck down and then three days later he rises, I would be like, "Holy shit, we are all fucked." And he go, "It was real. It was all real." Oh man, it's not out of the ordinary to say that so Nostradamus, these- Nostradamus has. Uh, Disastrous writings or disastrous predictions. Right. Yeah. That's all this is. Nothing. Right? Ever, I don't, I don't know if he's ever shown a quatrain or anyone's kind of backtracked and looked at his quatrains and said like, "Oh wow, he predicted some nice stuff here." Right. Because there's always no. It's always. It's bad always. Shit. It's it's kind of the people that are always looking for the rapture. Right. Or uh, those who pray for the end. Yep. Uh, because that's when disaster comes. Yep. But Fire it, it's, it's because they want disaster because salvation is at the end of that. Yeah, you know? well, for them, maybe, if they were 
I, oh, that's the ideally, but uh, I imagine if anything actually like that happens. I think I think in one of the quatrains here, like I mean, let's not forget that he is Catholic, mm. and that he's actually putting. He's got some influence in there, like for those you know, if he's reading the Bible and he's putting reading Revelations. I mean, this is a lot of Revelation stuff, probably like rewritten, retold mm -hmm. from his perspective. It's the best part, you know. My favorite, everyone's favorite part. Of yeah, Bible. that's the most metal part of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. it's <clears throat> it's the best. Um, so I mean, I think just like anyone reading the Bible uh, can, uh, it's your perspective. Sure, uh, your own personal perspective on how you interpret these things. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you're reading it and then you're kind of just taking the words, trumpet. Agreement broken, faces, blood, milk and honey, Cherry whatever. Pick. Or like um, evil and the seven months or whatever, all that stuff. This. You just take it and you take apply it to, like they're doing here, global events. Mm -hmm. uh, you, okay. can, you can you can, you can can uh, attribute it to all those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we can find find uh, find the end in any any section here. Oh, yeah, for I sure. mean, why, why not? There's... Always fucking something going on to begin with, some batshit stuff. So what do you th what do you think about Nostradamus's predictions or what they're saying? I mean, in is... a general sense, it seems like very possible. Yeah. Uh, in the literal sense, maybe not so much. Mostly because uh, could they just be like his own poetry. Yeah. I just maybe he was just a uh, what do they call those people like this apocalyptic kind of poet poet right um, the, he, uh, he, 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 you know what maybe doom. he he thought Revelations was so fucking cool that he was gonna write his own but in like poetry you know I mean Revelations is cool Ray but I'm I'm saying from Master Jones's perspective <laughs> he thought it was so fucking cool he was like you know what I got God on my side I'm gonna write my own poetry <laughs> about. My, oh. my own revelations. We're gonna we're gonna make our own revelations because that's what these are. These we're are hookers right? and blow. This is, is Nostra Jamas's version of revelation right here. Right? Yeah, in a very vague, like, poetic sense, you know. Sure. Um, I, mean, I mean, that's all he does, or rather, that's all everyone understands or knows. Yeah, it's just he talks about the end. Yeah, and that's that's pretty mostly understood. Uh, I'm fairly sure that most of our our listeners or anyone that's that's heard of Nostradamus, Nostradamus. Or whatever is, is 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 you know knows what he uh, he he's about. I I I think at this point, I don't know. But I now mean, we're gonna move on to another future seer. She, this one's blind though. Like, and yeah, this is I think I don't know if she's still alive. She? Is she still alive? I don't know. Mm. Uh, Baba Venga, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sure. She is also a person that. Uh, Okay, not live. Died in 96. And see, so she's fairly recent, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh -huh. I mean, recent in the sense where, like, it's it's not Nostradamus, you know, who's so, lived, like, when the fit, like, the 14th century, 15th century, somewhere around there, in France. This mm. is someone who is... Second World War? Contemporary. Or, yeah, well... They're a contemporary person. They're dead, they're dead now. Yeah, wrong, relatively are, contemporary compared yes. to Nostradamus. <clears throat> Vega, I cannot pronounce her real name. I'm not going to even try. Uh, you want to give it a go? No, that's, I can't read that stuff. Uh, Vangalia Pandava Gustarava. There, I English ruined it. Baba Vanga, Bulgarian. Uh, a Bulgarian grand, mystic grand, and herbalist. Vanga. A yeah. Bulgarian mystic and herbalist. Blind since childhood. Blind since childhood. Baba Vanga spent most of her life in the Rupit, Rupit um, area Bulgaria, in Bulgaria. of Bulgaria. She's, she's pretty much in both. Late Bulgaria. 70s and 80s, she was widely known in Eastern Europe for her alleged abilities of clairvoyance and precognition. Zeni Costa de Nova claimed in 1997 that millions of people believe she possessed paranormal abilities. Okay. She seems a lot cooler than Nostradamus. Yep. Sure. She's got powers. I hope. Well, she did. She did have powers. Not uh, enough to save her, right? right. Have still, Im still, immortality. Mm -hmm. She is. She was semi-literate in Bulgarian, in Bulgarian, and she could read some Braille in Serbian. Hmm. Hmm. Though she did not write any books herself, what she said or allegedly said—that's so sketchy. There was captured by staff members. 
Later, numerous esoteric books on Vanga's life and predictions were written down. Hmm. She, so, uh, I mean, I guess you can find those. I've never seen any of her books or anything. Nope. No idea. But, I mean, how old were you in 96? You know. I was a freshman in high school, so. <laughs> All right. So, 13. Gotcha. You're always fucking 13. How does this weird? Keep God damn it's it. It's fucking weird. 13 is the no, will be, shall be the number that shall be inscribed. <laughs> uh, uh, shit. All right. The number, so, <laughs> the number of our the savior of the uh, number of the beef. <laughs> <laughs> That's like an inside joke. Uh, person's uh, my alternate ego. Alter ego. It's not Ray. Alter, it's yes, evil, uh, evil Ray. Better Ray. It's uh, the name bestowed onto me was Beef. Ro- Roland the beef. Uh, <laughs> the beef, and then uh, Roland added Cosmic Beef, the Traveler. That's right. Uh, I've shortened it just Cosmic Beef, you know. That was, that's so if you see us on any live streams and you see Cosmic Beef, that's what you're going to get it from. Yes. Uh, yes. So there, there's that explanation for that. Now, she predicted a devastating solar system, according to this article. Again, we're on Sky History solar as well. Solar storm. Solar storm, sorry. No worries. That's all. What did I say? History? Uh, no. Solar something. Solar rain, whatever. Yeah, all of that. You want to read some of this article? Sure. Concerns a solar storm which could have calamitous consequences. The term solar storm can refer to several phenomena on the sun's surface, including solar flares and coronal mass ejections. The latter, a vast eruption of plasma that are capable of reaching the Earth, causing geomagnetic storms that could potentially fry power grids and cause widespread havoc. They do that. That's what solar storms do. They will fuck up all of your equipment. And we've been getting hit with them here, you know, for a while, shit. And we'll probably continue to do so. Hopefully they don't cook us alive because that's another thing that those things can do. Um, so, and they they go on to name uh, an example here, I guess. Uh, Car- the Carrington event of 1859, named after Richard Carrington, a British astronomer. It knocked out telegraph networks, even caused fires and electric shocks. If an event was like to happen uh, today in our electrified world, the effects on communication services and everyday lives would be almost unfathomable. They'd be fucked. But this is just... similar to the Nostradamus as well, right? Like mm-hmm. they they mention uh, climate. And yes. Like, uh, yeah. 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 Fish yeah. boiling, all that kind of shit. Right. Actually, that would that would probably happen um, with us fucking over the climate. Apparently, more uh, something like that would be a lot more pronounced and a lot more severe because our our. Uh, the earth would not be as, uh, um, uh, shit. We'd be fucked, okay? So the whole point there, it, it would be worse than if it was before because of what we've done to the atmosphere. Right. So uh, One of the other predictions we have here is a change in the earth's orbit. Now, I know in the past, um, maybe according to the 2012 thing, the whole, like, I mean, those, are, those are a lot of things people talking about where the earth was going to shift, right? Yeah. And the... Uh, the polar points, right? South and oh, North. well, we're yeah. gonna like flip and stuff, and then yeah. we're gonna fuck us all over. Yeah, and people were scared of that. I was worried. I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say I'm worried. Like, anytime someone says something like that, I always assume the worst. You know, there's gonna be a natural disaster, and anything in the earth uh-huh. or Mother Nature that happens, we're fucked. We're yeah, fucked. I, I mean, mean absolutely. absolutely. There's now we like, can't do shit to that. Uh, the 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 poles have they shift. They, they shift. Switched. Like, like they yeah, do they shift. Kind of like they're shift not, off they're the. Not, they're off the axis a little bit. You know? Yeah, and that's that's From the actually, original point, I guess. The true north or whatever the fuck it is. It's that's that's it's pretty that's pretty normal. It's a you know they drift a little. Um, yeah, it's just something that happens. Right. As far as them flipping... Mm. But according to this, what is it saying? Uh, it says the planet travels at 584 million miles around the sun every year. And that yep. big voyage that is elliptical, yes, not a perfect circle. No. Like we know all those. Yep. The precise shape of the oval is influenced by other planets, gravitation, planets' gravitational forces, right. meaning the Earth's orbit can and does shift. Right. Obviously. Yep. So, however, such changes can take place in a I can't I never, cyclical. Never, I can never pronounce that cycle. word ever. Yeah, I know it's a cycle, but like I can never pronounce that word. I get tongue tied every time. Uh, across many thousands of years. Yeah. So, who cares for us? Right. Yes. We fucked. Uh, the effects are subtle, which happens. Like that right. could be like the change in the weather and all that kind of shit. Yeah. Yep. 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 Slow so uh, changes. But um, it says uh, <clears> it's been theorized <throat> that an orbital shift contributed to the Paleocene Eocene thermal maximum. Period of intense global warming that took place almost. Is that what 50, killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> uh, the global warming, uh, uh, maybe no. Um, 
Ice Age? Well, yes, that that was what, what mm -hmm. got them. But so the, I forget exactly, but I think the global warming is what like triggered because eventually like if the planet gets too hot, what happens is it has sort of like a, like an upfuck, up, unfuck reset button, which triggers an ice age to bring that temperature back down. And we'd all be fucked, obviously. Um, then sort of that's, that's, that's like so a, that's been hinted a fail by safe kind of Baba thing. Vanga that uh, an asteroid impact could really yes. alter that. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I mean, sure. If it was big enough, um, I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. You never know. Nope. Uh, bioweapon atrocity said that Baba Vanga had visions of bioweapons tests mm -hmm. being carried out by a big country in 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, North Korea? Yeah, maybe. This is arguably one of the most visceral, disturbing predictions ever provided by the prophet prophetess. <laughs> sure. It also seems relevant to the current heated geopolitical context. Oh. Doesn't it always? It always does, Jeez, you know? Like, man, there's always some shit going there's on. There's always a dick sized contest going on between all these countries. You got fucking Kim Jong un over there going. You got China. I wasn't going to do the voice. Got... I'm sorry. I wasn't going to do the voice. <laughs> and then you have Joe Biden, Putin, <clears throat> now Zelensky. Right. All like measuring their dicks. Uh, uh, what must we forgetting? I feel like we're forgetting more people in there, but China. Yeah, well, China's Xi Jinping or whatever. Xi Jinping, the, yeah. The guy that uh, can't stand being compared to what was it? Um, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> uh, the person who wrote this article uh, specifies that her predictions are cryptic and impossible to verify. Obviously, that's every Give one of these people. What? Unless they're being like, Any unless, they're, unless they're being direct. About these predictions, I mean, we're never going to figure them out until after the fact. You know, like we can speculate and all that kind of stuff. Yep. But mm -hmm. well, they everyone again. These predictions this, always we always figure out these predictions or like that they predicted these things after the fact. This chick was right. She was right for sure, bro. No. Nothing too crazy, you know. I mean, relatively. For yeah, I mean, well, it's gonna get fucked. Maybe uh, what again. Are the, uh, what do you call this? Ewan. Uh, mm -hmm. This article here. Oh, what the hell? There's one there. They brought up some other stuff that they Wyo, didn't bring up in the other. Wyo uh, news. So we talked about solar storms, bioweapons, yep. nuclear explosions, mm -hmm. right? Uh, visits from aliens. That's the one we didn't go over. Uh, I mean, there's always something there about it. Uh, it says one of the scariest predictions among all of Manga's prophecies about <laughs> aliens' visit on Earth. As per the foreteller, the world could find itself covered in darkness. And the psychic claimed that millions would die from. Die if aliens visit Earth next year. Yeah. Why? Are we going to have like a fleet of aliens coming through that just destroys us? Uh, Independence Day style? Uh, I, I mean, sure. Um, I, I, kinda, I thought they were already here. What? Uh, making, making alien babies. Uh, next one is uh, lab babies. Oh, crap. Um, I mean... Humans will grow in labs in 2023. I think they already do that. With constant breakthroughs in science, the concept of lab babies could become a reality. Believing parents will be able to decide the skin color and character. They already do that. Characteristics of their kids. They already do that. You can, you, man, that's not, you can pick the, the, the colors of the eyes and like the hair and shit of, of, of some of your kids, can't you? I, I know that. You can do that? Well, like if you pay for it, I think it was like this, this procedure. So racist. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I know that, or I thought that, I guess, um, they were doing stuff like this in like Switzerland or whatever, where you could, because like they're playing with, with being able to play with like uh, genetics. genetics, like that's already like a thing. It was called CRISPR, I think, the past, past few years of uh, people trying to fuck with things. And even before then, they were already doing some kind of like, well, a selective breeding. Damn it. Back to you, uh, back to... <laughs> Maybe. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to not sure on that one. Okay. That's right. let's put a pin in that. Yes. Come back to it. So those are Baba Vanga's predictions. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, we have solar storms, a lot of destruction, hopefully aliens show up. That'd be pretty badass. Um, whether they're going to be, which race of aliens is also the question. Are they here to help us? Are they here to kill us? Eh. Suck us dry. Oh, all of the above. All of the above. I'm still waiting for uh, my my uh, uh, Christopher Walken doppelganger or whatever to, to come here and show. <laughs> I mean, 
our Willie Strieber doppelganger, yeah. played by Christopher Walken's clone. Uh, uh, so next on the four teller list is uh, Edgar Casey. Uh, some of you don't know who Edgar Casey is. He is a he is an American. So we know he's telling the truth. American clairvoyant who claimed to channel his higher self while in a trance-like state. Uh, he has, there's tons of books on Edgar Casey, like uh, referencing like Jesus. Um, I have I have that book. I haven't read it yet though. Mm. Uh, but there's a lot of things he did in uh, different periods, different topics and stuff. Uh, he went into a trance, and then he would relay all these inf- all this information, and then someone would write it down. Atlantis. Yeah, that's a, that's another one. Atlantis, right? Uh, the afterlife, reincarnation, healing, dreams, the afterlife, past lives, nutrition, Atlantis, and future <laughs> events. Yeah. Casey, again, a devout Christian and Sunday, Sunday school, school teacher, teacher. Oh boy. said that his readings came from his subconscious mind exploring the dream realm. See, I'm more so inclined to believe that. Were, like maybe, someone who's like... Uh, where he said all minds projecting. were timelessly connected. He's basically just talking about his uh, astral Collective unconsciousness. You know, he's, he's out in the dream world, the subconscious mm. floating around. Again, I wonder like, if he's sitting at a desk... And someone's just going, well, this is what's going on. And then, like, you know, the the, down, the voice the that's telling him. prophet. So, yeah, he's in a trance. Huh. Uh, religious scholars and thinkers such as Michael York consider Casey the founder and the principal source of many characteristic beliefs of the New Age movement. Mm-hmm. Interesting, right? Oh, New Age movement. Oh, no. We won't go through most of his uh, life and stuff. That's just kind of like. Uh, he, died, little, he died in the 40s, 45. Yeah. So we're going to not go through necessarily 2023 predictions, but predictions that have yet to come to pass, according to Edgar Casey, Prophecies, if you will. Um, a lifespan as human beings being extended. That's possible, you know. Well, I mean, we do live longer than they did. Um, probably putting our consciousness in oh. something else, and then we continue Ooh, on. You mean like like Lovecraft kind of stuff? Yeah, Whatever. possibly. The elders, elder elder gods uh, dropping their their brains into. Uh, we'll, we'll read this little passage from uh, Edgar Casey here. It says now we find that there are many changes in the body since we have had this many for good. Many of the organs and the conditions show that changes has come about by the natural or the so called natural condition in changes as the body succumbs to the effects of age or usage in the system. Much of this may be overcome. A man should live longer than has been ordinarily given and will. So he's just saying that. He's not saying like what exactly is going to yeah. happen. I'm thinking, I'm, th- I'm thinking subconscious or the, the consciousness. Okay. You transfer that out to something else, maybe an AI robot or something, you know. They did, <laughs> they did that in fucking like a, it's a cartoon. Oh, hell. Uh, yeah, cartoon transferred. Ghost, uh, Bender, Ghost the Ro- Bender the Robot? <laughs> Futurama. Futurama, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, are you, are, you, are you talking about when they put their heads in the jars or when they put... I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere. Oh, I think I know what you're... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, you're right. It was, there was, an ep- I think, an episode where, like, there there is these brain aliens that are just supposed to be, like, these super advanced and they're just, like, floating brains and... Um, another uh, sure. prophecy is uh, the discovery and design of self of a self fueling perpetual motion machine. Oh fuck off! Perpetual motion machine. Okay, yeah, that's that's give the fucking a- holy grail of goddamn equipment. Give give me a f- so perpetual motion means it's just like permanent, unlimited energy mm-hmm. powered by itself will never stop. It does not require. That's not a thing. That's like. Um, well, could, firstly, could, could, could the real Tesla have come up with this and it's been suppressed? We have this technology already, maybe, and we're hiding it. Think I'd it. rather not. <laughs> firstly, because it's says not Elon Musk. I'm talking about no, the real Tesla. Uh, I mean, if we did, that's like, oh, oh, maybe, because that guy was a fucking genius. Well, uh, I'm not talking about Elon Musk. No, I know um, you meant Tesla. I, you I meant Nikola Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, the Nikola Tesla. Goddamn man. genius. Maybe. That was one of the last things I believe he was working on. He was trying to work on like unlimited energy, right? Unlimited, free yeah. It was all. free Wi-Fi, uh, uh, sort of unlimited uh, wireless uh, wireless signal. What the thing that bugs me is because it, it says self fueling perpetual motion. By definition, the perpetual motion is self fueling. So that's just a really stupid phrase. And well, that's how they came up with them. That's just a question they're posing here. 
But I mean, yeah. reading what it says here, it says you will have before the gas before you the gasless motor invented by some such four thousand. I don't know what <laughs> by, the fuck that know, is. Yes, say. we have the body and inquiring mind of that. Also, the associations of those conditions surrounding the perfection of motor, which will develop power in its own action, as has been given. The idea and plans have been worked out in part along those lines that pull more of the power is produced in compression in drum, with the leads made in these forms that gather vibrations from the air as is forced through the drum are, as we find, the better application of the created energy. In the cams have been used too much slack or play is allowed in their rotation. This is bullshit. This is the drum's head action that these must be shortened. It's, it's gibberish. All right, look, the first, that's fine. I can maybe hope that because the idea is to have a, a, a renewable, you know, unlimited energy kind of thing. Sure. I don't know about the rest of that kind of how, how that might. You know, you know when, you were, when you were reading that, the first thing that came to mind was the Damien Wayne's character in, uh, in Lemmy Color. Or the he's a prisoner and he's just speaking nonsense, oh. but he draws to sound smart. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking when you were reading that. I was like, I don't understand what the fuck any of this means because it doesn't sound like anything at all. It's, it's just saying words that kind of mean that that involve machinery or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I don't, I, I don't really understand that. It, the point is, like, that's that's the that was an i that's an ideal. It's still well, okay. You know what? Fuck. Oh, I can't believe I'm tying this to. They did talk about fusion energy recently. They did. And how that's still like, that is one uh, exact form of energy that's supposedly, you know, limitless. The problem is we still have a shitload of work left supposedly for that. Like that's not anywhere in, in like the immediate future. It's still somewhere off. But that would be the only example I can think of. And that was like, Fuck, like last month, this month, where there were- That was just a few, were, like yeah, two not, weeks ago, I think. Yeah, fuck. After the fact, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's irritating. All right. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, <sighs> new root race evolving. What does that mean? It suggests that humanity's consciousness has evolved and expanded over time. Casey stated that this expansion of consciousness could be viewed throughout the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. From the reading's perspective, the next great evolution would be tied to the development of what Casey termed the fifth root race, uh, an evolu uh, evolutionary occurrence that would mark a new age and a new understanding of humanity's relationship to God. Again, these people have ties to Christianity, so they're going to like yeah. refer back to that. Right, 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 right. So, Personally. I mean, if we were if we were getting like prophecies from fucking uh, Lovecraft, it'd be like the most bleak shit you've ever heard of. In yeah, life. they'd probably run with it too because it's a little more. Beautiful. And he was an atheist, so that's, that's <laughs> also true. I would be way more interesting if it wasn't framed through the Bible, but yeah. like, or rather, actually, probably easier to understand. <laughs> Root race, firstly, also sounds kind of, kind of, like a little gloom and doomy or whatever in the sense that like, what do you mean? What race? What happens to the rest of them or something? Uh, another one says that the three halls of records will be discovered. According to the readings, the people of Atlantis became aware of the fact that their civilization was about to be destroyed. As a result, they hid identical records of the Atlantean civilization in Bimini in Egypt and in the Yucatan. Numerous readings contend that this hall of records will be discovered, including and give detail to the sealed room contains. Mm. They will give details. Given detail, what the sealed room contains. A record of Atlantis. From the beginnings of those periods when the spirit took form or began the encasements in that land and the developments of the peoples throughout their sojourn with the record of the first destruction and the changes that took place in the land. This is... Ah... Uh, uh, very, very convoluted and vague and non... Uh, As are all predictions. <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, now they're talking about the Sphinx, right? Yeah. Between the Sphinx and the... Between then, the Sphinx... In this... This in position lies as the sun rises from the waters, the line of the shadow or light falls between the paws of the Sphinx. So we're, 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 we're up in Egypt here, I guess, for some reason. That was later set as the sentinel or guard and which may not be entered from the connecting chambers from the Sphinx's paw until the time has been fulfilled when the changes must be active in this sphere of man's experience. But what does the Sphinx have 
to do with Christianity? I'm not sure on, I don't know, like, I'm trying to understand how those... Well, I don't know if you necessarily need to associate Christianity to that, because, I mean, well, no, we're, we're talking no. about Atlantis here. Right. Were they that's, Christians? That's where I was going to jump were, back were, to. Were they Christians? Like, I don't think so. Well, because he talks in the other ones about the relationship with God, and it's like, okay, fine, but the, that... Well, I, I will say this, though. Like, I recently saw this thing, again, this is could be all bullshit, as most of this could be as well, that the Sphinx itself was carved later on into like the one that we know now. Mm-hmm. And it used to be a bigger like yeah. lion's head and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally it was, a, yeah, it was and larger they kinda, and yeah. they, they cut it down, I think, a bit. Or but it, it had they, different... I think like uh, that maybe the Egyptians found it mm. and carved it down, you know, because like maybe it was the Atlanteans, yeah? <laughs> possibly, maybe, yeah. who knows. I, I, I'm not a big fan of Egyptology, but hey, you know, uh, I yeah, it could be. See, I am. I, I like that a lot. <sighs> sure. Uh, of course, we have the shape of the world to come. What the fuck does that mean? Decades of, of the decades before the rest of the world was thinking about the enormous impact that China would have upon the global stage. Edgar Casey predicted great things for China and its people. Thanks, Edgar. You're an what, American, what buddy. A fucking. Great. On one occasion, Casey told a group of people that eventually China would become the cradle of Christianity hmm, as applied to the lives of men. The I don't know. I don't know about that. Aren't applied, they, are they like in the lives? No. They're, they're Christians in China? Uh, yeah. Just, well, like, well, yeah, they've no, kind of like do. just become that not too recently. Uh, yeah, right? exactly. Uh, they did have a, um, a different sort of belief system. And at some point they, they, they are really Christian over there, actually. Some of really? Them, so... See, I'm not aware of them. I don't, um, I don't, they, I don't, I don't they, follow up on the like religiosity really of other countries. Really, some of, some of, like, they do have very conservative, like, Christian groups over there. In the sense of, like, how we have them here, some of them here, too, where people are, like, they get, like, they're nuts. They're, I mean... <laughs> is it, like, a, is that a, the national religion? Or? Uh, yeah, basically. Because, I, I mean, aside from that, I'm not too sure uh, what other... Uh, religions they really practice aside from because it's like for the most part a lot of them they 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 believe in like their families and ancestors more than more than anything yeah but again i'm not too familiar with like the history of religion in china well i mean eventually yeah they a lot of them if not all of them converted to you know christianity that's that is a thing that happened with them and uh uh, that they've done. I'm just trying to read. It's been a while since I've read about any of that, but yeah. So according to Edgar Casey, China is going to become the most Christian of Christian nations in the world. Mm-hmm. More so than America? <laughs> I beg to differ, my friend. Yeah. I beg to differ. Uh, one can only hope. Um, Yea, it is far off as man counts time, but only a day in the heart of God. For tomorrow, China will awake. And oh, I guess so. Yeah. Let's move on to the last prediction or prophecy, according to Edgar Casey, A second coming of Jesus Christ, <laughs> along with the rapture and all that oh, kind of I stuff. Hope, I hope he's... Sorry. I hope she <laughs> uh, is uh, like... Uh, no, I... <laughs> I don't want to get canceled. Never mind. Let me uh, let me let me read on with this before you. Uh, please, please do. So I can filter you out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. The Casey readings had much to say about the life of Jesus, covering the lost years that were never addressed in the Bible. Mm. That's what that's a book I have, which I haven't read yet, which I'm pretty sure might be interesting. But Casey also spoke of Jesus' return, and here is an excerpt on that subject. What is meant by the day of the Lord is near at hand. That has been promised through prophets and the sages of old. The time, the half time, has has been and is being fulfilled in this day and generation, and that soon there will be again, and soon there will again appear in the earth that one through whom many will be called to meet those that are preparing the way for his day in the earth. Jesus Christ, my reading is terrible. The Lord then will come. Even as ye have seen him go, ascending, descending. Mm, okay, that's basically pretty much like what the Bible says in general. Like I imagine. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, yeah, I've that's... I've read something, but I don't know how. Like I haven't read it in a long time, so I don't know the accuracy of that. Because I know whenever he left Earth the first time, 
he was here and then they all saw him ascend into the heavens into a UFO. Let's be real here. And then they're going to see him as he went up to the sky, he will be coming down from the sky. But that's considered the rapture. But some people think that's UFO. Think about it because they think Jesus, some people think Jesus was an alien. Who knows? That sounds fun. All of, I, I'm down for it all. I mean, I, I mean, who wouldn't like to see that coming off from the sky, dude? I, I, Do you think if there's aliens and like one of the aliens descends, people are going to think it's Jesus Christ? Or a demon? Maybe 50, both. 50, both. 50, 50. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking 50-50. It just depends. What is he, he going to look like? Is he going to be, is, is the alien going to be white? If because it's a Nordic... If it's a Nordic alien, maybe blonde then, hair, blue eyes, they're gonna be like, it's Jesus. they're gonna be like, we told you he was white. We told and then you he it, was it, white. It, <laughs> instead he comes down with like a sombrero and like a big old mustache. Damn. And like, Jesus. Like, Satan. Yeah, exactly. Hey, it's me, Jesus. Stella, burn, burn the witch. <laughs> maybe. I goes, mean, that would. Mijos, I bring tacos. Yes, I bring you tamales and fish tacos. And it probably is the best tamales you've ever eaten probably, in your life. Probably, I'd be fucking all over that shit. Take uh, this tamale. It is my body. Yeah. <laughs> Give it unto you. <laughs> Drink this tequila. I don't have wine. <laughs> you know, my blood is clear. It is not red. It is clear. It's agave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of those uh, prophecies and predictions. What do you think? What is your idea of what's to come? Is 2023 going to be a sweet year? Are we all going to prosper? Is society going to change culturally, mentally? Is that for the, the better? end? Maybe. Will oh. good nah. prosper over evil? Will all the bullshit going on the past couple of years be squashed finally? Or maybe we'll just take a small step in a better direction for everybody. Could be. But they always say it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Now with these predictions, this could be the worst coming our way. Which would suck, you know? But you know what? I'm not paying my credit cards. I'm not going to do it. No, nah, me neither. If this destruction is happening, you can forget me paying anything, bro. I'm not fuck doing it. Fuck that. I got, I got student loans. You can all eat shit. Me too. I'm not going to pay them. Nah, fuck no, I'm not going to pay them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend that money on a six-pack. You know what? Um, if, if all this destruction ha- is this, all this destruction is going to happen, I'm going to max out my credit cards. Got to be ready. whatever I want. Yeah. I mean, that's a better idea. What are they going to do? You're going to take the property I don't own? Mm. <laughs> You're going to come after me in the apocalypse? Yeah. I dare <laughs> one of your collectors to come yeah, and take exactly. me away. Get him. You've been paying his bills. What? Right. As there's fucking demons with huge dicks fly- <laughs> walking around and shit. I'll, We're coming um, for you. This is the end. Yeah. So, I mean, I hope there's not much destruction. I hope there's not much doom coming our way. Sure. I want to say I want to look onto 2023 with some optimism. Optimism for the podcast. We'll get better views and listens and, you know, it'll grow and all that kind of stuff. That's as much as I hope for right now. And maybe not to be as fat. I mean, yeah, you want to be ready for the apocalypse. I need to start doing the cardio like they do in Zombieland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, if there's one thing I've taken away from that movie... Is that cardio? Stretching, stretching, stretching is important. Stretching and cardio. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah. Very good things to practice. You always want to be in front of the person next to you. You don't want to be the last person. That's 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 the rule. You just want to be faster than the guy next you to you. You need to be limber. You need to be uh, have or, the endurance. Or or you need to kneecap the guy next to you. Just kick him while they're down and keep going. And double tap. Yeah. There. Well, that that'll be their problem. What about you, Roland? You uh, optimistic about this new year? You will. Yes. Are you a glass is half full or half empty kind of guy? I don't know. Have I been drinking from that glass or have I been, have I been filling it up? Uh, well, I say like in theory, I'm mm. a glass glass is half full kind of guy, but realistically, I, I'm a half empty. Yeah, I like that. I'll, I'll go with that because uh, I, I do kind of just it just depends on my mood at the yeah. time. I'm like, yeah, this glass is half empty right now. Right now, in this very moment. I'm a glasses half full kind of guy. Talk to me tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Probably all empty. Yeah, maybe. Full empty. All empty. All you empty. never go full empty. You never go full empty. So, um, that'll be it for us. And, well, I'm just not on YouTube necessarily. No. 
Uh, if you are, you'll get the video on Patreon. You can see this video on Patreon. If you want to subscribe to there and see the us in person talking about these things, you can do that. Sure. You can subscribe at, uh, I think, the lowest tier, maybe. I'm not too sure. But well, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll we make it available. work on that. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, I haven't said this in a while. If you are listening on any platform, please review, rate, review, give us five stars, um, or just share it. You know, one of those things. I don't, I don't know what all the platforms do necessarily, but uh, you can do all those things to help us out. Yeah. Or if you want to support us in other ways, again, you can donate to Patreon and you can buy merch or just tell people about Valley Strange. We'll be coming more episodes. We mm -hmm. only did two episodes last year. Yeah. We did two episodes last year. Cryptids. Yep. And the Mothman Prophecies. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yes. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, we still got a lot of listens, though. Yeah, thankfully. somehow. Uh, we appreciate those who have stuck with us. Um, things just happen, you know. Life, shit happens, scheduling, all that kind of stuff. Yep. But I'm dedicated to bringing you more episodes of Valley of Strange in whatever form they come. But we're doing it. All right. We'll see you next time. Peace. Blue midgets coming into my house. <laughs> hey, it's ridiculous. I had some kind of a rectal probe. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous.